Hello guys, I'm Future Real. I stream five days a week over on twitch.tv slash Future and in this video it's another video from the Project Diablo 2 Season 5 beta servers. It's time to test the Assassin and the builds we are going to test is Phoenix Strike, it is the Wake of Fire Trapsin, and we are also going to test... Um, what was the third build that we were testing? And we're also going to test the Mine Blast uh, with this uh, this season. Those are the three builds. If you enjoy this video, leave me with a like and a subscribe, and also don't forget to write your comments down below for what class you're going to play in the upcoming season and how that is progressing for you. Thank you so much for watching the video. Until the next time, take care, and I will see you soon. Time for the Assassin, guys, and uh, we're going to start out with a Wake of Fire build. Um, the Wake of Fire build has been nerfed a bit, um, but uh, we're still going to be uh, trying it. Just uh, going with a generic uh, mercenary here. Just uh, the random uh, or regular gore string laying of hands. Need a champion in here to like emulate that we have a cannot be frozen gores. Just playing Templar and uh, Infinity. Uh, I'm doing the um, double claw build uh, this season or in this test. I, I don't think I'm going to be playing this because I have already played it in PD2. Uh, but the build is as follows. We go with uh, with Shaco for this one. Uh, you can go with... Uh, uh, what's it called? I have it right here. Yeah, you can go with Steel Shade if you, if you want. Um, I actually don't know if that chance to block works with, the, with Claw Block. I don't think it does, but the faster block rate will. So, yeah, it's a... It's a um, uh, it's, you need you need to figure out if you want that fire absorb. Maybe if you want to do it for Ubers or Declone, something like that, you would pick uh, Steel Shade instead of Shaco. But we are going for the Shaco. Uh, Enigma, of course, Mage Fist, Wisp, Stone of Jordan, and we have Water Walks. Also for that faster block rate, which is very nice. Uh, Amulet is Mara, so we have Res and Life, Torch Annie, and uh, Trap Skillers. So, I'm going to show you real quick, uh, let's uh, jump into the map here, we have a canyon map, uh, so fire fire based character wants to do canyon, buff up, and we are gonna, no not that one, that one, here we go. So you have to use, with this setup that, that I'm running, you have to use the weapon speed bug. So basically that what that means is you want your uh, your fastest item, your fastest weapon in your second hand, and your slow one in your main hand. Then you pick it up and put it back down. So I'm going to show you what that looks like real quick. Uh, doing it wrong. So that's wrong. Look at the speed here, how slow this is. Okay, so when you do it the other way around, it's a lot faster. So that's the weapon speed bug. And to also not make it so that you think uh, this build is uh, not thought through, uh, we activate Fade. We're going to play with Fade. So that means that we are missing one attack speed breakpoint with a current gear. I can show you that by putting on the Laying of Hands, with ha which has 20 attack speed. And this is the fastest attack speed you can have on traps. So we're not going to be playing that right now, but in, on the on the live servers in the season to come, you would play Mage Fist with attack speed, and you would play Arachnid's Mesh with attack speed to get that 20, FC, uh, 20 faster attack speed that you are missing. Because Fade is important when you're playing uh, Double Claw. Uh, play the attack speed bug, just pick up the item, put it back down, and it, it is activated. But for the purposes of this video, it is going to look like the traps are being cast a little bit slower because we are we are missing 20 attack speed that you will have on, on live. So let's see how this goes right here. So in, th in this area, in the canyon, um, this is actually, uh, actually not bad. Because there are no hard fire immunes here. So it works pretty well. Uh, it's not as good as it was when you could really, uh, you know, abuse the uh, the death sentry um, a lot. But uh, it's still a very, very uh, solid build 
even if you don't have the crazy death sentry that you had before. So clearing this out fairly quickly here. Uh, I usually go with uh, with three, three wake of uh, wake of fires and two death sentries, depending a little bit on the uh, the units that we are facing, of course. So this still this still works just fine. I know that the the tooltip says nerfed, and yes, the damage is lower than what it was. But uh, even without like super super um, uh, corrupted gear, so nothing is corrupted here. Uh, because we don't have corruptions on the on the beta servers, uh, you can get uh, substantially more damage on this build when it goes live with all the plus skills that you can have from uh, corruptions. So this is still a, a solid build. Still a, a really, really solid build. So uh, check it out if you want to play it. It's uh, a build that I played to level 99 in Season 2. And uh, I, do, I do really like this build quite a lot. But um, yeah. It is a little bit worse than it used to be. But okay. That was the Wake of Fire Assassin. Second Assassin build coming up right now. Uh, Mercenary has changed to Reaper's Toll for that Amplify, because we are playing a Mind Blast. You want that uh, that Amplify damage uh, on your targets. The rest is the same as in, uh, in the previous uh, Assassin clip with the, uh, the Wake of Fire Assassin. Uh, gear is obviously the pretty much the same as well. A call to arms here with uh, Lidless. Uh, we have two Shadow Killers, and uh, we put in a bunch of Sir Runes here and Tier just to have mana and life per kill. You probably wouldn't do this on live. You would have jewels instead, or even corruptions in the rest of your gear. Uh, but just for the for the purpose of uh, uh, just for the purpose of. Uh, this video showcasing that you need life and mana after kill. We're gonna do it like this. Enigma Maras, uh, Shaco, Mage Fist, uh, we have Wisp, SOJ, Arachnid's Mesh, and Water Walks. Uh, you only have 100 strength with this build, with the Shadow Killers. So I chose to not go for the 167 strength for these right here and rather go for Water Walks. Um, if you want to do it the other way around, there's technically nothing wrong with that. You're gonna lose a little bit of max health. If you think you can do that and you want the two extra skills, by all means, go for that. And the inventory is just uh, rest and life, skillers, and uh, torch and any. I have a map right here. I have a Throne of Insanity map with 280% density. Let's check that out. Buff up. We are playing Fade. And there is the... Uh, the clone. So I just want to make a little bit of a note on the build. You see here we have one point in blade shield. We are level 95, so that's just um, be just because we had a bunch of uh, points spare. We have nothing in martial arts. We have mind blast with all three synergies maxed. Only one point in weapon block because you have to put in an, uh, an absurd amount of points just to get one or two more percent. So we only have one point in weapon block and we have maxed fade for the damage reduction. Um, that left us with three points spare, and I didn't really have anything else to do than to put it in Blade Shield, to be honest. Why not? Um, yeah, this, this map is also uh, pretty big. It has 52% increased health. So this is a big map. It's a big boy map. So we're going to test how this build is going to do with the, uh, with the big boy map here. Uh, let me just uh, map my teleport. There we have it. And it's important when you're playing um, uh, Mind Blast and you have your uh, clone that you have both of your uh, your skills chosen. So both Psychic Hammer and Mind Blast must be on your bar because your clone is going to use these abilities. So if you have, like for instance, uh, auto attack, she's going to she's going to see she's going to run and start hitting. You don't want that. You want her to stay on range, so you want this to stay on uh, Psychic Hammer. Oh, did we lose the... Um, oh yeah, the uh, Heart of the Wolverine also unbound. 
so it didn't spawn. So this is still a uh, a pretty uh, pretty cool build. Um, you might see that it is a little clunky to play right now, and that is because um, we ha don't have the ability to have corruptions on uh, the beta right now. So we only have, uh, let me click the right button, we only have 80% FCR. You need to get this up to 102. And the way you do that is by having a, a, a ring, or not an, an amulet with like two assassin, 15 FCR, and then 10 FCR on, uh, on either of these uh, rings, belt or gloves. Or you can have, for instance, seven on uh, Mage Fist, that's, that's enough as well. It doesn't need to be 10, because the breakpoint is 102. So, um, there is also a, another, um, another uh, thing you can do. You can actually use one Plague, uh, so one Shadow Killer and one Plague. That's also a, uh, a way of, uh, of doing this. Uh, there's uh, quite a few ways to build your, your Mind Blast Assassin, so just play around with it, as you can see. It is a pretty, a pretty strong build. Keep in mind, this is a 53% health increased tier 3 map. And this is still slapping uh, quite hard here. Um, uh, Mind Blast is 12,000, yes. 12,000 Mind Blast damage. Uh, oh, actually, no. It's 13k. Uh, Psychic Hammer was 12k. So 13k is the uh, Mind Blast damage. So this is, uh, this is very, very nice. I do like this quite a lot. Safe, ranged, strong mercenary. You have the clone to help you uh, DPS, to help tank. And um, I really like this build. You also have uh, the ability to do reasonable single target damage with this, uh, with this build. Um, using uh, Psychic Hammer for anything that is uh, physical immune. That is uh, pretty good. But also... Um, it's one of those builds that uh, it just excels because it's uh, it's ranged and safe for hardcore. It's uh, it's very 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 good. So yeah, I don't I don't think um, we need to test anything more for the mind blast. It's just a solid build overall. As I said, this is a very very big map in the 50s extra percent health on these uh, units, and we just still kill them with the, with a couple of casts here. Very very nice build. Some ethereal blood fists. Wow. So yeah, if you are interested in playing out the uh, assassin, you can uh, you can check this build out. Mind blast. Uh, not not a terribly expensive build, but uh, very very nice. Third and last uh, assassin build that we are testing in this uh, beta season. Uh, back to infinity because we are playing Phoenix Strike. So this is the Phoenix Strike assassin. The build is Max Phoenix, Blades of Ice, Close of Thunder, and uh, Disabled. I think it's called Fist of Fire or something. Fist of Fury. I can't remember. Uh, max these four. One point in Dragonflight for uh, releasing your finishing moves. It uh, also makes the build a little bit more interesting because you now have two buttons to click instead of one. Um, one point in Burst of Speed. One point in Blade Shield. And then dump the rest of the points in uh, Claw Mastery. I'm wearing uh, Kiras, Ethereal, Bartux, uh, Mara, Enigma, Storm Shield. Water Rocks, Stone of Jordan, Arachnids, Mesh, Wisp, and a 2 to Martial Arts Gloves, Life Rest Charms, Any Torch, and uh, Skillers. We are in a uh, 271 density uh, Throne of Insanity map. And uh, let's go and see what we get. To rebuff or remap this, of course. All right. So it's a, a pretty cool build. You know, it, it is a melee build, so it is. As uh, it is a little dangerous. Not gonna lie. You feel alive when you play this build. Uh, but as you can see, also. Uh, you are struggling a bit with mana. You, you don't have enough mana leech on this build. So, 
obviously when you are playing this on live, uh, you would play this with uh, mana per kill corruptions. Um, we don't have corruptions on the uh, beta servers, as mentioned many times before. So when you play this build on live servers, make sure that you have mana after kill. Um, mana leech doesn't work that great. Mana after kill is what you want. I would say you're looking for maybe between 5 and 7 per, uh, mana per kill, and you should be uh, doing a lot better already. Uh, but okay, let's uh, keep on going a little bit. So this is a, is a very cool build. It's very unique to what we have uh, been able to play before. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, this build. Scary as shit. But that is also uh, good sometimes. Oh, what? Why did that cancel? I don't know. So yeah, it's a very, very nice uh, clearing build, this. This is a uh, tier 3 map, of course, so uh, it has a ton of damage potential. Uh, we're not even sure that this is the uh, the absolute best gear to use for this build on Hardcore, but um, this is what we went with. So if you find a better uh, gear combination than what we have here, obviously you should have more damage because you can get uh, corruptions on, you know, weapon, helmet, amulet, shield. You can get uh, you can get more damage on this build than what I am showing you here. So uh, if you are interested in the Phoenix Strike Assassin, check out this build. Try to research which is the best gear setup, and uh, I think you're gonna have a good time. So thank you for watching the Assassin video. I hope you liked it, and don't forget to leave your comment down below with your thoughts and what you are going to play in this upcoming season. Until next time, take care, and I will see you soon.